Hello everybody, welcome back to another Wuthering Waves and Honkai Star Rail video, I guess, whenever you think about it. We are reacting to Stjorg's video, Is Wuthering Waves a Break from Hoyo Games? I'd like to see what he has to say about this. I already have a video pre-liked. I have a feeling it's going to be good. Stjorg's videos usually are. If you want to subscribe to him, make sure you go to his channel and, you know, click that button. Also, check this video out if you enjoyed it, you know, just to give it a view. Comment what you think to him. And make sure you do the same for this video here. Uh, all right, let's get into it. Is Weathering Waves a break from Hoyo Games? I mean, it's a very good question to be. Oh my God! I had to plug into the wrong thing. I mean, it's a very good question to be honest, because this game is coming out in 20 days now, so it's very fair to ask if people are gonna quit Honkai Star Rail for Withering Waves. First, let me talk about what's gonna happen. What we now at the point of this reaction uh, releasing, it'll be even closer than 20 days it'll be about 15 uh maybe a even less days you know for a fact that is going to happen in the first week of weathering waves the answer of the question is definitely yes people are gonna quit honkai star rail people are gonna quit genshin we saw how big tower of fantasy was in its first week and weathering waves looks very huge so weathering waves first week will be insane not only I mean, 25 million people pre-registered already for weathering waves I think that honestly, this like this whole thing where he's breaking it down into first week. Yes, I I kind of agree with that. I kind of agree that people will. I mean, not quit. Obviously, the term would be take a break at that point, but they would for sure take a break for at least the first week just to grind the hell out of weathering wa weathering waves and see what it's all about. Especially like Genshin players, Honkai Star Rail players, games that are in the same kind of a. Uh, Games that are in the same kind of art style genre, you know what I'm saying? players but for content creators because every single content creator of any gacha game will now cover Withering Waves. So even for people who are not going hey, that's to me. immediately quit Honkai Star Rail or Genshin, they will be getting so many Withering Waves ads and even guides for the game and people talking about the state of the game, giving reviews and for content creators that's gonna be extended to not only a week but to the whole 1.0. But now let's exactly to something that and before so. So Tectone made you know he's he's talked about many times so far on various videos podcasts that he does things like that that if you are a gotcha creator and you are not making content for weathering waves he even said like a number he said if you don't have 40 weathering waves videos out before the game comes out um i don't think i'm gonna be able to get that out unless it's like 40 freaking reacts which isn't something i want to do but i think i'll have probably about 10 to 15 videos for sure and as a small content creator, I, I think that's all right. Um, I mean, I'm still definitely on the grind, but the moment Weathering Waves actually comes out, I get to play the game myself and record it and do everything like that. That's going to be awesome. Uh, of course, I'm going to be making a lot more videos then. I just think, you know, that amount of just reacting because I didn't get any into any CBT and I don't want to spread misinformation, you know, things like that. You know, so I, I'm not making a lot of personally educational videos. Uh, it's more so I'm watching other people basically tell me and, you know, the people watching this video what's going on. Uh, Alexa, turn the light on. And, um, Alexa, turn the light on. Okay. There we go. And, uh, and then I'm giving my thoughts on it. <clears throat> not guaranteed and that is only an assumption from us after a month of weathering waves will players quit weathering waves and go back to honkai star rail and genshin or maybe play all of them so let me tell you what i'm expecting i think <sighs> first month past the first week i think people will start to return back to their main games uh in terms of like if they didn't love weathering waves like if they didn't like fall in love with it immediately They'll probably go back to their main games until like the next patch of Weathering Waves comes out and then try it again. But I'm sure most people will keep it in their rotation. I am very, very confident that this game is going to be really fucking good. So I will imagine that a lot of people are going to make it either their main game or have it be one of their main side games that they play. And especially if you're a content creator, you got to be making videos on this. Thing. At the end of the day, Honkai Star Rail is doing a very good job, to be honest with you. Absolutely. The amount of content that's been added to Honkai Star Rail is insane. They're adding endgame yep. in the next patch. The story is very good. We're not seeing any. Yeah, they're adding endgame in like every patch. That's crazy. 
Imagine if like another Hoyoverse game did that. Dry patch till now, but in Honkai Star Rail 2.2 is where the story ends, at least the story of Pinakoni, and that's where they're gonna have we know a that? very big challenge to say the least. Because we saw what it. happened in Genshin, we had four dry patches. But the thing is, in 2.3, they're adding end game, and that's why it looks very good for Honkai Star Rail. I really Absolutely, that Honkai Star Rail are going to do it, but 2.3 will be coming out about a month or so after uh weathering waves releases right because i can't remember i don't remember what date exactly but it's we're, we're pretty close to ending 2.1 and 2.2 coming out and 2.2 in terms of actual content isn't very alive and they probably did that on purpose because of uh you know weathering waves being released during the time of this uh, Weathering Waves will be released during Robin's banner in Hawkeye Star Rail. So, yeah, pretty early into 2.2, and then 2.2 doesn't add a ton, and then 2.3 will add a ton, and that will be for the players that are coming back off of grinding the hell out of Weathering Waves to come back to their main game, especially if it's Hawkeye Star Rail. Good job. Maybe have one dry patch, but I think they're going to be adding good content every time. Now, if they fail to do this, of course, people are going to stick more to Withering Waves. But if they do a good job in this, I think that players are going to be playing both. But which one will be their main game? True. It will probably be... Especially because one's action combat and one is turn-based. You know, they're different play styles. Weathering Waves. First, it's new. Secondly, Honkai Star Rail's main story in Penaconi ends. And the honeymoon phase of Weathering Waves will be very long till this time. But on the other hand, with Genshin, I think so many people were gonna quit Genshin for a month at least and be playing Weathering Waves. So mm. many of them will go back to Genshin Impact, this is for sure. And we will be like that for like three months if Weathering Waves drops a very good patch at 1.1 or 1.2 until we reach August. And that that's where Genshin Impact will probably drop Natlan. Here, I guarantee you, Weathering wow. Waves will lose popularity a little bit. Well, I mean, it's not 100% because... I, and, like, think about it. Three months into Weathering Waves being out is when Genshin 5.0 comes out. Weathering Waves might purposely do a slightly dead patch for their, like, 1.2, whatever patch they're on, when Genshin 5.0 comes out. Do a very, very slightly semi-dead, although I don't recommend it, because, um, mostly just because, like, when you release a game, you want to go full steam ahead. I mean, Honkai Star Rail didn't really have a dead patch till, like, 1.5, at least if I remember. Uh, 1.5, I just didn't play it almost at all. So, other than, like, if you cared about the characters that were coming out, and you wanted to do events, 1.5 was really, really a dead patch. But, we'll have to see how it goes. Weathering Waves will lose popularity a little bit. Well, I mean, it's not 100% because they might do an insane job. But at the same time, it's not gonna beat the new region in Genshin Impact. Weathering Waves will yeah. still be new at this point. And so Genshin Impact will be very popular for probably three months again. But in all of that, I think that people will still be playing Honkai Star Rail. But it's not gonna be their main game for a while. Especially if they drop so many dry patches. But this is the most that I can predict. To be honest, after that, it's a mystery. And I don't think that anyone can tell you what's gonna happen after that. Gonna have to wait and see how Wuthering Waves, how Honkast are. But for the first five months at least, this is how it looks like. People are gonna quit Genshin and Honkast are in the first month. And then they're gonna slowly come back, but Wuthering Waves will be their main game. And then they will come back to Genshin Impact to be their main game for some time because of the story. But probably not quit Honkai Star Rail because Honkai Star Rail is doing a very good job that the most exactly. thing that can happen Absolutely. to this game is that people are just not gonna make it their main game for a while but if we go to mid july we're gonna have zzz i don't think that zzz is going to kill the hype for weathering waves i don't think it's gonna beat weathering waves but i think it's going to be high people are gonna play it for a week or two and then maybe keep on playing it i don't know to be honest but i don't think they're going to also quit zzz for honkai star rail because looking at the cbt it's looking good but it's not looking that good it doesn't have that much to you know play it to mm. be honest i'm still kind of i am excited for zzz but i am not very excited for zzz you know what i mean i don't know what this game is going to entail i i know the least about it by far out of genshin um and like that's just 
Gen uh, knowing things from Genshin uh, about Genshin from the outside and like playing it for like two hours. Um, maining Honkai Star Rail, obviously I know a bunch there. Um, and Weathering Waves, I've been following that more and more and more and getting myself more and more hype for the release of it so I can really pump out content once it releases. I don't know much about Zenla Zone Zero, but like the gameplay looks, it looks clean. It looks decent. I will probably play it. Why would I not play it? Uh, as a content creator, I believe, you know, if, if I'm in the space, I should definitely be dipping my toes in this game and seeing what it's all about. And even if I inevitably end up not liking it, I can always just Genshin Impact it the moment I don't like it and pop it in the head and, you know, move on to the next thing, which would be going back to Honkai Star Rail which of course has always treated me so nicely, and going back to Weathering Waves if I still really enjoy that game. Um, and AFK Journey probably will still be around then. I mean, obviously it'll still be around, but like, will I still be into it? I could see it. I mean, yeah, probably, you know. I, I mean, a lot of its AFK elements are, are coming into play now that I've Connect. played a decent amount of it. Um, anyway, okay, let's not get off on too much of a tangent. Yeah, I think this guy honestly does have a very decent read a, a pretty good prediction on the ebb and flow of player base player bases between games um thing is genshin 5.0 might release on not a dead patch for weathering waves so weathering waves might struggle there releasing a pretty good patch but also still losing players anyway from genshin impact 5.0 that might be, hopefully you know the devs don't get too uh upset about that and they just keep pushing forward i think that zenless zone zero you know six months out from the release of weathering waves when zenless zone zero comes out well i don't know when Z zenless zone zero is coming out during the summer at some point a, a decent amount of months away till zenless zone zero comes out i assume that at least might be coming out during a dead patch for weathering waves at some point weathering waves during its one point whatever patches cycle it will have a semi-dead patch where they don't pack it with content excited obviously if they don't do that and every patch is just insane content 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 uh really quality of life really cool things being added to the game constantly i mean that's a massive dub but like obviously most people probably don't expect that every game has to have some dead patches for it i'm gonna play it but i think that's everything we can talk about here you know we do one of these videos sometimes to open a discussion so i would like to see your opinion in the comments and also be sure to subscribe let's try to hit 10k as soon as possible peace boys all right you heard him make sure you subscribe to my channel i'm trying to hit 10k as soon as possible um yeah i, th I think this is a very good video by stjorg uh, he, he was right. It definitely did open up a conversation. I just sat here for 13 minutes and yapped to myself, basically. So if you, uh, appreciated my yapping and you have anything you would like to say, respond in the comment section below. Let me know with a like, if you like this video and if you like Stjorg's video, also you can mention that in the comment section below. Um, I think Stjorg's a great content creator and you know, I'm pretty happy with this reaction. So thank you all for watching. Uh, like subscribe, you know, the deal. Peace.